Somebody bet on the bay, all right. Somebody bet two million dollars. Somebody bet two million dollars that this bay, a colt named Speedy Somali, would win this race. The Hamiltonian. Hamiltonian is a race for three-year-old trotting horses. It takes place each summer in Des Moines, Illinois, almost the exact population center of the United States, at a big country fair. But don't jump to conclusions. These horses are purely bred aristocrats, and the stakes are very high. The purse is worth about $250,000, and the bragging right, the privilege of saying he won the Hamiltonian, well, translated into stud fees, that could mean millions. Speedy Somali was brought into the world for $2,500. The stud fee at the time for his sire, Speedy Crown. Howard Beisinger, his eventual trainer and driver, contributed the booking. Robert Moma of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, supplied the broodmare, who was named Somali after an African leopard. Frequently, racehorses are bred to be sold at the yearling auctions. Uh, you want a ten? Who wants a ten? I'll be five, ten, well, there. Uh, I'll be five, number two. I'll be five, now, ten, fifteen. I'll be ten, number two, fifteen. I'll be fifteen, look, shark, Tommy. I'll be ten, number two, fifteen, number two, fifteen. But Beisinger and Muma decided to keep their coat and race him on the grand circuit. The Grand Circuit is a traveling race meet that starts each spring in Florida, moves up the East Coast, and then heads west toward the big fairs in California. Rich and prestigious races abound on the century-old circuit, but so do expenses. An owner must pay a monthly stipend to keep his horse in training. In order to race, he must meet stakes payments and starting fees. To that, add the cost of grooms, horseshoers, veterinarians, chauffeurs, pilots, and for that extra special horse, a night watchman. The cost of keeping Speedy Somali on the circuit ran to about $6,000 a month. But then, he was that extra special horse. He had the classic trotting gait, a diagonal coordination of the feet that is partly voluntary and partly inbred. As a two-year-old, he won 10 races and set a world record by trotting a mile in one minute, 57 and two-fifths seconds. Enter Alan J. Levitt. From an office high over Manhattan's east side, Levitt oversees Lana Lobel, a huge breeding operation with farms in Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey. Somali, in his eyes, was a potential super stud. He wanted the colt badly. And with the Hamiltonian a year away, he offered $2 million for a controlling interest. Beisinger and Muma accepted. At the time, it was the most ever paid for a two-year-old racehorse of any breed. Levitt was betting that Somali would winter well, pick up where he left off, and then defeat such top horses as Florida Pro and Briscoe Hanover at DuCoin. On Hamiltonian Day, Levitt was still very much in the running. Eight three-year-old trotters in behind the starting gate for the first heat of the Hamiltonian. But to claim victory in this battle royal, 
A horse must win two heats. Here they come. A rough and trotting, moving out past Speedy Somali and Count's Pride. The Speedy afternoon was young. Takes the, lead, Count's the dice still tumbling. Third. Briscoe, Hanover, fourth on the outside, driving up. It's Speedy Somali leading away a length and a half. Right there in second is Count's Pride. Briscoe, Hanover is third, trotting on the outside. Florida Pro, fourth down along the rail with Double Mint Racing in fifth. Noble Art is sixth. Brilliant Yankee is seventh as they round the turn and wait again. Trails as they go to the quarter mile mark. Howard Beisinger in front as they reach that point with Speedy Somali in 30 seconds flat. Grisco Hanover is on the outside, Park second. Racing third is Count's Pride by a length and a half. Florida Pro trotting fourth down the back stretch. Double Mint racing in fifth. Brilliant Yankee is sixth. Noble Art seventh and weight again trailed. Speedy Somali and Briscoe Hanover. The two of them dueled to world records here last year as two-year-olds battling again. But the battle brief as Speedy Somali moves to the front by a length and a quarter. Briscoe is right there in second as they go to the half-mile mark. Up on the outside, Florida Pro as they move past the half to the far turn. Florida Pro mounts his charge on the outside. He is second and coming on at Speedy Speedy Somali. It is Speedy Somali down along the inside. Florida Pro, his conqueror on four occasions, moves up to challenge him once again. It's Speedy Somali along the inside, leading by a neck and maintaining command as they come to the three quarters. Florida Pro is second on the outside. Briscoe Hanover third. Moving up fourth now is Double Mint as they get to the three quarter mile mark. In the 130, they turn for home. It's Speedy Somali on the inside. Florida Pro on the outside. Double Mint is coming on on the extreme outside. Now it's Florida Pro and Speedy Somali battling it out down through the final eighth of a mile. Double Mint joins them on the outside. Speedy Somali, Briscoe Hanover moves up now. And on the outside, Florida Pro. It's Speedy Somali on the inside. Briscoe Hanover driving through, but Speedy Somali. And Briscoe Hanover is second, Florida Pro third, and Double Mint fourth as they reach the wire here in the first heat of the Hamiltonian with Speedy Somali in front. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hamiltonian opens with a world record 155 flat. Fastest race mile in the history of harness racing. An hour later, they mixed it up again, Seven, but with a different result. Second. Over at the far turn, Speedy Somali drives with power and authority to take the lead. Florida Pro follows right with him as second on the outside. Count's Pride is now third, and now Briscoe Hanover is out and driving. He's fourth and coming on, now third. Speedy Somali leads the way half a length. Florida Pro, his arch rival, second on the outside. Briscoe Hanover follows him in third. They come to the three-quarter mile mark. Speedy Somali is still in front by half a length in 125 and three-fifths, and they turn for home. Speedy Somali on the inside. Florida Pro and Briscoe Hanover on the outside with double men. Now coming on. Down through the lane they come. Florida Pro drives up. Speedy Somali's at the rail. Briscoe Hanover is on the outside and double men is fourth. Florida Pro, Speedy Somali on the inside. Briscoe Hanover on the outside. As they come to the wire, Florida Pro and Speedy Somali and Briscoe Hanover. They get to the wire. It's Florida Pro, Speedy Somali and Briscoe Hanover officially in 155 equaling the world record and we believe that Florida Pro is the unofficial winner in a photo with Speedy Somali and Briscoe Hanover. Florida Pro didn't just win. He equaled the world record for the mile. Now while Somali hangs from the cliff, 